I don't have a screen over here. <laughs> hey guys. I assume. I'm assuming you can see me. For some reason, I feel like I need to see myself. Are we live? Yep. Okay, cool. I just have a black screen, so I'm, yep. I hope I look great. Does everybody look? You do. Thanks. Can confirm. Thanks. Thanks, Ryan. You you do this, you do too. Thanks. You're it's wonderful. All righty, guys. So we have got uh, a teddy bear here today. It's going to be great and awesome and fantastic today. Friday might not be quite as fun. Thanks, Tony. <gasps> um, and not because the teddy bear is not fun, but just as we discovered yesterday, that the farther you get along in the assembly of it, kind of the more tedious it gets and the less fun it is. <laughs> Much more focused sewing than, like, chit-chat sewing. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So this is um, Fred that we made yesterday. Just named him that just now, because <laughs> why not? So anyways, um, we did one out of just a suede leather, and then we found an so adorable... Skin, right? Yeah, yeah, a little suede lambskin, which we had literal, like, smurf hands by the time we were done, because Mine are still kind of blue. Like, my fingernails are still bleed. blue. Yeah, I cut mine this morning, and I scrubbed in there. Smart. <laughs> Gotta get it out. So anyways, so here's Fred. He is uh, a Liz colored bear. So why not? Little fella. Yeah. So he's got little shearling feet and then, or we All actually right. use goat. Yeah. goat. Yeah. So we use uh, some small goat that we have that matched the shearling and he's got little shearling ears or little goat hair ears. Um, so yeah, so this is, this is going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, like the first kind of assembly steps are really pretty straightforward. It's yep. not so bad. But then, like, kind of as you start, especially once you get to the arms and you have to put those in, all of this bear is assembled inside out with the exception of attaching the head to the body. Um, we did it a little bit of a funky way yesterday, but it was all right. So we will. And as Liz said to me yesterday, no matter which way you do it, it's going to be a bear. Right. It's uh, going to be a bear. Like It's going to be kind of a fight, but also it's a bear. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's going to be fun. So we did also realize that the arms of this bear are significant. <laughs> uh, they are quite long. And so today when we make our next one, this is the large pattern in the pattern pack. We also have a small and a medium. I'm assuming that this is the small bear that Michael sent to us. So this is Michael Seeger sent in um, a little bear. We just got it this morning, Michael. If you're wondering, I checked that tracking number. It said it had been delivered. I went up to the retail floor and I found the package yep. that hadn't even been brought back to uh, the office yet. So we got all your stuff in. And then he also made me this sweet mask, everybody. I know all of you have been talking about like dragony things over here in our chat. Um, have this sweet, here, I'll kind of faux put it on for everybody. But this is. That's great. <laughs> so yeah, so this is my new dragon. That's her new Monday me Monday meeting wear. That's right. I can breathe fire and make everybody afraid of me. So in any case, thank you so much, Michael. This is really awesome. This is the um, diesel punk. Diesel punk. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Tony. Pattern. Tony's his name. He's a great guy. <laughs> Tony. Right. Great so many Tonys <laughs> in the world. <laughs> All righty. So once again, large bear, and I'm assuming that this is the small. I, I think it would be hard to construct things smaller than that. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm thinking that this is a small, but I, Michael can correct me if he's here. So in any case, bear. So yeah. first things first, if you are using shearling, now you can make this bear out of... Whatever. Out of whatever. And he, Michael didn't use any shearling. He used some... Um, Looks like rough out and upholstery. Yep, some rough out, uh, some upholstery. And then he even used the veg back on the, on the feet here uh -oh. that he stamped. So... Good. Make the bear out of whatever you want. Yeah. Um, for a nose, I went to Hobby Lobby and I found these cute little buttons. Oh, cool. Hmm. Oh, he's not on. I'll get it. Okay. Yeah. So these cute little. Power just I can see? they had shiny ones, so and then they had kind of like Tony? a matte satin button. A little lever switch that worked for the nose. No, no. that's not it. That's a zoom. I'll get it. Uh, yeah. okay. So, anyways, so go to Hobby Lobby, find the buttons of your choice to mm -hmm. make the eyeballs and the nose. Um, or he can be noseless if you don't want to put a nose on him, but I feel like, I there's feel like a, bears need noses. There's a three-way seam right at that nose, too. Yeah, so it makes it really so easy for you to just tack it on. That. Yeah, yeah. So get yourself a little button noses. This one was, they're both $1.99, and you get like four in this one, and there's six in yeah. this one, so you, it's, it's a good deal. Um, and then I just got some shiny black eyes, but just also choose whatever eyes you yep. want to put on your bear. Uh, just get a button. <laughs> so... This, the large bear took a lot. So we had these shearling, I think that these were like seven or eight foot a piece. 
Maybe six, six to seven. Six-ish, yeah. Okay. And it took us two of them, or like one and a half, yeah. to cut out our full large bear. So if you are making the large, you will need approximately, I think it says like 12 to 14 square feet. Yeah. It's not lying. That is what you will need to cut your parts. These are large panels. And we did pre-cut everything because there's yeah. a lot of parts to yeah. this bear. It's a, it's a lot of uh, parts. So, all right. So we have everything kind of cut out. We do have one arm and one leg assembled already. Um, just so we wouldn't have to do that. Um, so the leg is assembled uh, this way, mm -hmm. um, fuzzy side in. But then on the bottom, we wanted this side to be facing outward. So we've got the fuzzy on the inside. And that's, anyways, so that's one foot. And we've got an arm. Um, discovery on the shearling, you really have to make sure. So when you <laughs> shave it, you have this whatever gap it is that you shaved. You need to make sure that you catch that. Otherwise, you're going to have a weird seam where you yeah. don't have fur in the seam. So kind of have to sew. The shearling is a little difficult to sew because it is so poofy. The, like the foot of the machine doesn't love sitting down on it. Um, Basting tape doesn't hold it super well. Yeah, it does all right, but it's it's something. So anyways, first things first, get yourself some hair clippers. Mm -hmm. I did most of this with a really old pair of hair clippers that I literally Very had to loud. wear um, ear protection for because it was so loud. And then I tried to clean it out because it had a bunch of hair stuck in it, and I broke it. Um, so then I had to buy new shears. <laughs> oh, darn. Yep. Yeah, oh, darn. So in any case, these are much nicer. Just Walmart. They're 30 bucks. Or, you know, use yours at home. So... The other ones we were actually yelling to talk over. There was no talking. Yeah. There was just silence. So anyways... You just want to run along the edge, and really it shaves quite nicely. Yeah. We even shaved the little green stuff. Um, yep. For Shave that hair great. For Fred over there, and yeah. So, make it as even as you can, and just shave some hair. And that's what you're going to do for all of the parts. Yep. Which took me, like, three hours. So, just, just... This is not an afternoon project. This is, yeah. For sure. Especially since it's morning here. That's right. Good one. Anyways. I, um, oh, I do need to shave. Yeah. I say I can shave that way you do the next part, or if you want to do the next part, or want me to, or whatever. Well, yeah. Here, here you go. Okay. Uh, actually, you might. Here, let's plug you in over there. Yeah. Because otherwise I might die. Don't. <laughs> I'd rather you not die. All right. I'm going to start taping up the other foot and leg. And I'm mm. going to shave his yeah. little tail, which is, in addition, Andy made to the pattern, so we realized it didn't have one. So. Yeah. Oh, also, thing to note about the tail, and we'll talk about this when we get there, <laughs> is I, so on Fred, we weren't quite sure where to put the tail, but um, we know now to not, we kind of put it on the bottom of his butt, and it needs to go above his butt. So on your back pieces, there's a couple sections where you pleat in the back. That creates the butt. So that makes the bear's butt. So this part is the butt, and then this is the back. So whenever you put your tail in, you want to put it above the pleat right here. Mm -hmm. So then it sits and like actually it will kind of keep them up a little bit instead of like sitting on the tail. I don't know. It's fine. It's kind of cute, but it's too low. It needs to be here instead of here. So just thing that we discovered. Put Fred over there. Alrighty. Yeah, basting tape was our friend. We use eighth inch. In the pattern, I believe it calls for quarter inch, but when we made the pattern, we did not sell eighth inch basting tape. I don't know if it wasn't available or if we just didn't have it, um, but we do have eighth inch now, which these are quarter inch seams and the eighth inch is you're just holding it together, but you don't want any tape yeah, no exposed tape yeah, out. So I would use the eighth inch if you have it. If you do have the quarter, maybe overlay the tape a little bit farther into the bear instead of like fully putting the tape on your seam allowance that way you don't yeah. get any tape in your seam because cheat towards the edge of your piece correct yeah yeah because everything's sewn inside out so with that tape if you're on your stitch line exactly you're gonna have sticky seams and that's just unpleasant especially in something fuzzy yeah nobody wants sticky seams Sorry, I'm trying not to shave too much off, so I'm pretty silent. Okay. How's everybody doing out there today? We were freezing this morning, literally. It was 32 degrees when I got in my car. Yay. So, I don't love that, but, you know, I suppose it's almost November, so... I was a big fan of it yesterday when it was just, like, 50 all day. That's perfect. Love that. Uh, below that, now we're talking actual cold. 
I think it is supposed to be like 80 this weekend, though. So, yeah, you know, good old Missouri weather. Don't bother expecting anything from weather. Yeah, here. I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I like cold. And, no, no, I do not like cold. I can tolerate cold in small sections, which is perfect for the Ozarks because we just get a little snap and then it and then it just brightens right back up. And then we get a, about a month of potential snow and ice nightmare every year. Well, you know. It doesn't always happen. It is moving farther towards, like, March, though. Yeah. Definitely. I think that's because I can get that without shaving too much off. That is tougher than the uh, goat hair. Because you can't see mm -hmm. where you're cutting. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, shaving the edges just helps your machine be able to pull them together. And as you're sewing, it also helps whatever you're using to adhere it to stick. Here didn't get fried. Really good frozen in time picture right there. Yeah. I like it. Oh, is it working again? What happens when you lose power? Hey guys! So that was fun. Uh, our whole building just went dark for a moment, so I don't think a, f a squirrel was fried, though, because it came back. Usually when the squirrel fries, that kind of just takes it out for the rest of the day. The squirrel fries. Yeah, we've had, it's been so many. Like, like once every year to two years, suddenly the power just goes out in, like, a section. You Hopefully it's not the whole thing, but then you'll go outside and there's a squirrel that hits a transformer and it's just, like, on the ground in, like, a weird position. <laughs> So that's always been a lot of fun for us, just to watch out for some fried squirrel. <laughs> it's like a weird euphemism. <laughs> like, yeah, squirrel really fried today. <laughs> but we oh, really fried the squirrel with that one. In any case, as hopefully things get back on track, I'm gonna keep sewing because. See, so it looks like Twitch chat is still dead. Uh, just shows unable to connect to chat. Please try again later. Uh, yeah, so now we've moved on. Liz is sewing. I am taping. And what's she sewing together? Looks like a bear leg. Yeah, it has you assemble the the arms and the feet uh, first, and then those all get sewn into the body. Yeah. We kept joking on yesterday about, you, you can do whatever you want with your bear. We thought of making him a little peg leg or something. Yeah! You can make whatever kind of bear you want. We added a tail. All right, let's see what our seam looks like. Ah! Oh, there goes the tape, but that looks good. Yeah, nice. Very good. Okay. And bless all of you that hand sew this, My Michael. goodness. Um, yeah. This is a lot of sewing. Like, it took... We worked on that bear pretty much all day yesterday. Yeah. And it took... About like, 14 labor hours in that bear. Yeah, but... Yeah. Because it was both of us. And then the night before is when I shaved everything, or most of everything. Yeah, we cut everything so out. We cut everything out and it, shaved yeah. it on Monday. And then yesterday we worked on the assembly. So definitely not the fastest project. There we go. But really, it's pretty rewarding, especially, I mean, if you got kids in your life. that we, we kept making lots of, you know, vague response to cuteness noises while we were working on it yesterday. Because mm -hmm. you'd get something done, like get the foot in and turn it right side out. And it's, it's just adorable. 
But I am struggling with getting my tape to peel, because Shearling does not like to hold tape super well, even when you've shaved it. But yeah, with this pattern, it is... It's not impossible as a beginner pattern, but I think the more sewing experience you have, the better time you're going to have with this one. Because uh, it is just a lot of tricky sewing, but nothing super off-putting. Yeah, these first few bits, really satisfying, a lot of fun. Yep. Quick then, results. Yeah. Is everything good, Tony? Especially for a lot of you that have been doing the live shopping um, and have... Oh, you've got some shearling. You've got some shearling. Now, some of it may not be enough to make the full bear out of the shearling, mm -hmm. but that's fine. Like, choose the panels that you want to be fuzzy. You could make his front two panels fuzzy. Um, we made, like, the feet and the ears on that one fuzzy. So, you know, have fun. Play around with it. There's a million different options. So, once again, for this foot, the shearling will be sewn out towards the inside, because this is the inside of the leg. The shearling will be sewn towards the outside um, because we want this yep. on the inside. So, I mean, you can make the whole thing fuzzy if you want, but that's just what we decided to do. And that one's a little easier to tape up since you are taping like the half that side. Yeah. yeah. I did get this arm finally. It is a lot of taping. It's going to be a little, it's going to try and swim on you at the wrist there. Yeah. But it'll work. And this just tapes up like a little flower bud, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. Andy and Liz both had different opinions on how to design a tail yesterday. So it was, it was good. Andy being Andy had one they just like kind of freehanded. And then when it came down to, okay, we need to figure out how to actually do this like a good consistent way. Straight to Illustrator and like laser cutter and stuff. He's very good at that sort of thing. I'm not. I saw someone had commented in here uh, that they had just cut all their shielding for this. Um, so yeah, feel free to work along with us. I could blink twice if you can see it. Blink, blink. <laughs> yeah, it looks like everything's back up and running as far as I can tell now, so that's good. Yeah. Oh, you know what we didn't mark is our center lines. Ooh. That's yeah. all right. I'll eyeball it. Yeah, the uh, pads of the feet there, they're just a symmetrical oval. Yeah. So it's really easy just to mark your set of lines on either end and match it up with the seams on the leg. Yeah. That'll get you a nice rounded foot. Should be good. There we go. Mm hmm. Sorry, my brain is fried. I only had one cup of coffee this morning. And you're good. Eva's gotta be back in 20. Miss you. Don't you guys know not to make plans at 11? Alrighty, so we got our oval and our foot. And then sew that down. And a lot of the, like, exactly how to get it on your sewing machine and sew this, that, or the other. It's just going to be playing with it and seeing what works best for you. So there's been a couple of parts that asked me or Liz would sew it differently, but you get the same end result as long as you're doing a good job. Just do a good job. <laughs> just do it right. It's easy. I have broken two needles. Two? Yeah, I broke one uh, this morning when you were outside and I was, like, <sighs> trying to re-sew your seam to okay. make it Well, you can blame that on me. Um... Well, I keep pulling the thread without having it latched under the foot, and that's ah, where it's breaking yep. the needle. So. Yeah, so we're using a size 16 needle on here. It's the uh, same thing we had last time, just because me and Andy got tired of the larger holes of the 18s. Yeah. Um, we've been working on some smaller goods lately. So we're using a smaller needle. 
And I just might have to shave this a little more. It's not quite sticking for me. Luckily, I'm working on the tail, and we've got a while before we need to have the tail in place. Yeah, I think between today and Friday, we're definitely going to have some, you know, TV cooking show magic where here's where the bear is today when we finish, and Friday, oh look, we're an hour or two further along in the process, but it'll just be more assembly and stuffing. Yeah, the really... We're going to make sure you see the cool parts. How long did it take you to sew that head on yesterday? Mm, I, I don't have an idea, any idea. I feel like I, Too long. I gave up about 3 o'clock, and then you were working on it until pretty much five. left at 5. Yeah. So it's not, it's not the quickest thing. Did a fancy... That's a, that's a cool angle, Tony. Hand-stitching seam on the back of his neck here. So oh, it's yeah. pretty well hidden, but... Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's a bear! And there's definitely, if you get a little messy with your neck seam, you can give him a little bow tie or some little neck ornament, maybe a little bandana. Bandanas are always good for bears. Um, to hide maybe some of the not so great parts of your neck seam. Yep, you can do the neck seam an easier way than we did it and just throw a tie on them. Sounds like Luna's imitating the shears. She always needs to make her presence known with a grunt or a groan of some sort. Mm -hmm. It was great yesterday. Uh, Luna and Walter like hung out and played together for the first time. Good until something about her water bowl happened, and then it was over. Yeah, it was either the water bowl or the bed, and yeah. that was the end of it. <laughs> uh, but we kind of made friends. Yeah. That was just the end of it for yesterday. We both were pretty focused on the bears, so we didn't want to focus on the dogs starting fights with each other over little slights. There we go. I will say if you have a lighter duty machine than the 20 or the 26, this is probably going to be difficult to yeah. sew. Um, because you have to go over so many seams yep. that, uh, like, a lighter duty, like if you had the 318 or one of those machines, it might be very difficult to actually sew this with a machine. And just logistically, something like a 20 would be really tough with the flatbed. Yeah. Because um, everything's weird shapes. It's, it's basically just a, a lot of gussets. Is what it reminded me of, of just where it's kind of fights here on the corners. Alright, and then we turn him inside out. Right side out. Right side out. Come on. I don't know. <laughs> Do you also not have enough coffee? Can anyone ever have enough coffee? I don't think so. Look at that. And I think I caught my shearling pretty well, so I don't have any weird sections. And I've got a little foot. Got a little footsies. That's barefoot. Okay. Wink. And that is ready to be sewn as well. Well, then let me just roll right over here. <laughs> this is kind of how it went yesterday as well. Yeah. Just feeding Liz parts that are ready to be sewn. Don't you guys wish that you had somebody that just sewed your stuff up for you? It's nice. <laughs> Highly recommend getting one. <laughs> Highly recommend a person. Get yourself a crafting partner who likes the things you don't like. And again, neither of us really care for the machines, but or I like them. Mind them. Just hand sewing's fun. <laughs> but on this scale, not as much. Yeah. The, the charm gets lost pretty quick. We did find yesterday there's a couple spots that looked like they lined up weird, so we trimmed them while we were working. Don't do that. We found out, trust the pattern. It's 
it knows where things should line up. It's almost like it was designed by someone who knew what they were doing. Which is always a plus. Yeah, well, and then I guess the other thing is maybe, like, make sure that when you are building the body of the bear, you focus more on the neck seam than you yes. do on the bottom. Yes. So the bottom you can easily alter, but the neck pieces all need to come together. So whenever you're lining everything up, start at the top at the neck and then close the body. And if there's any adjustments, you can make them to the bottom. But you really want, because we had the front of our neck was longer on the bottom than the back was. We had a shorter um, collar on the back than we did on the front. And so that kind of made pulling the head together a little bit awkward. Yeah. Um, and so that would be make sure that you line up those the neck portion yep. because the bottom just like you just tuck in the legs and you sew it across and you so can, if you got yeah, something you funky can, there you can trim it up and nobody's gonna know you can fudge it a bit yeah uh, yeah that neck is pretty unforgiving though it's a very visible seam and you have to hand sew it yep. you do have to hand i did accomplish uh machine sewing half of the neck mm -hmm. i don't know if that was good or like I, I, it's fine how do you feel about that i don't think it made it any worse okay um so the instructions explain how to go about hand sewing the whole neck around. Um, but we felt like we could, like, I pulled most of the stuffing out, and then I yeah. lined up my two front seams, and then I sewed that. So, the, like, the front of the neck looked really good, Very and then we clean. just hand sewed the back of it. And I yeah. felt like that was okay. Yeah, I think it worked out really well. It was tough, but not unmanageable. I don't think it was any harder than if we had hand sewn the whole thing. The bottom layer is fusion. Yeah. Yeah. Liz, did you talk about what this leather was? Uh, yeah. So this particular shearling that we're using is just kind of an odd lot shearling. We you, do have... You and I did... We had a green and an orange that we did on a live shopping. Like last year. We, yeah, Cyber Monday, I believe. Yeah. We, did it. Um, we do have a little bit more of this that we will be selling. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe even tomorrow. Do you want to do it? We can do it tomorrow. What do we do today? I don't know what we have, and we it's not in here. <laughs> so let's not do it no, today. <laughs> well, do it tomorrow. We can still do it today. I'm scared. Okay. No, we'll sell it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> We've already got like a thing set up for selling them. <laughs> um. Yeah, we've got a little bit of this orange. We've got some green, and then I think we have a little bit of a tan color. Yeah. And then we do have some more, but we are running really low on our miscellaneous shearlings. We've sold a lot in the last couple months on our live shopping. Um, we do have a lot of goat skins right now, so if you were wanting to do one that was like a suede with some also this and you cute little panels, um, that would work. But if you need, if you're wanting to make a full, full shearling guy, uh, I might be able to help with that, but we have sold a lot of our shearlings. Yep. It's a good season to be making gifts and things, and shearlings are great leather for that sort of stuff. Heath, you can do whatever you want. Huh. That's actually, well, not the arms and the legs. So the arms and legs are sewed into the seams closed, mm -hmm. um, and so you would still need to stuff the arms and the legs. However, you could potentially install a zipper along the back of the bear well, if, in this think seam. Think about build a bear Those are already stuffed yeah. in the arms. Yeah. And, and so... And the ones that aren't are opened up. Okay. So I don't go to build a bear often. Well, I, you should. I don't have children. If yep. you want a different family, you probably children. Older okay, but I do Lego. So, like, I can't also have stuffed animals. Like, I need to pick one. Pick one. Susie Hi. Says, Susie says it's her first time here. Hey, Hi. Susie. Welcome. Then it could be a money bear. That's right, Dean. Then you could store all of your money in there. <laughs> I don't Did trust banks. Any... I trust my teddy bear. Angela, we may have had a Navy shearling like a month ago, but we probably sold it. <laughs> okay, I am going to ditch the tape on the tail because it is just not helping. Nothing's holding together. All righty. Uh, we're just using our bonded nylon machine thread in 69. Yep. So we've got black 69 top and bottom. Okay. 
So there you go. Add your little leather flap to go over your zipper so it covers it up. Yeah. You guys do whatever you want out there. There's actually a guy from Springfield that's on the Lego Masters, but it's not Chris's husband. It's not Chris's husband? Sorry, it's not Chris's <laughs> It's mostly not Chris's husband because he's married to Liz. <laughs> I would be impressed. Sneaky, oh, yeah. sneaky. Oh, right, yeah. Sorry. It's not Liz's husband, Chris. But there's a guy from Springfield on it. Is it a Chris? I, I've told you all I know about oh. the person. Okay. <laughs> from Springfield, Missouri. Didn't I already admit to you fine folks that I am kind of a failed Lego enthusiast that I haven't watched Lego Masters. Not even one episode. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. What is that? This is a reality show where people build stuff. Ah. It's a competition. It's like, you know, Forged in Fire for knives gotcha. or cooking shows for people that cook. <laughs> people try to get me into the glass one that was going. Uh, I couldn't handle it. I was like, man, these are not... Uh... Definitely not like anyone I've ever met in the glassworking world. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like, the reality shows are weird. I don't particularly enjoy watching reality shows. I do enjoy watching some cooking shows. Like, I recently watched, um, like, the Iron Legend on Netflix. That was amazing. I love watching, like, the best people at their skills, like, do things in a ridiculously short amount of time where I would still just be standing there being like, I don't know what I'm going to make with eggs and cheese I like like a five course meal you know um, so i think that that's that's pretty spectacular yeah. yeah all right when this gets stuffed i think those seams are going to line up a little bit um you will need to go get some polyfill these bags are like four bucks or 357 mm -hmm. at hobby lobby um you will need about a bag and a half so in the pattern oh, i think it calls for 16 ounces one pound of polyfill and these are 12 ounce bags, so approximately a pound and a half. Um, we are going to shorten the arms on this bear as a, like, and make them a little bit shorter. So I think we're going to knock off probably, actually, I'm just going to shave that now while I can, um, a couple of inches so that they're just not quite as long as that guy's hands because they just felt a little bit long. Oh, I tell you what, these already look a little bit shorter. Justin's a big fan of how long that other bear's arms are. He doesn't think he's creepy at all. No, it's his and favorite he's, he's pretty cute in a weird way. I just, I think, I think, and they, I think that they set up really well. So, just like a teddy bear on a shelf. Yeah. It's perfect. It was today. I'm gonna do what you did and not uh, burn my threads. see if my tail turned out at all. Ooh, I did not leave myself enough opening to turn it right side out with this leather. Why'd you let me do that? Sorry. I failed you. Come on, Liz, we're a team. Alrighty. Shaved off like the top inch of hair, and that is where we will sew it into the seam. Once we sew it in, yeah. and then we'll trim off whatever's left, and I think that should be a reasonable arm for the bear. Yeah. So these, these are the same length as the other one, but the whole time we were making it, we are like, yeah, these look like the right length. But once you get them on there, they're pretty substantial. I guess you can compare it to the leg length, make them a little more proportional. I just was saying that that bear looked yeah. like he wanted to give you a hug. What? Oh, hey, there's some hot girls here. That's cool. Cool. I love spam, guys. So much fun. So funny that all, it, it caught one, but not all of them. <laughs> uh, yeah. What are you going to do? Spam them. Okay. Internet's a fun place. Alrighty. Shaved off some little cuffs. <laughs> I'll get out of your way while I fight this. And then these just hang tight until we make... Oh, well, I was going to stuff them. Stuff them. Hold on. We're not going to hang tight yet. We're going to stuff them. Liz, are you shaving the leather? I'm shaving the hair off of the leather. So, kind of, yeah. The, the fuzzy bits of shearling do not like to be adhered or sewn. Well, and so the other thing um, that I was kind of thinking when it comes to the arms, those, we, we filled pretty tight with the stuffing, but honestly, you wouldn't need to do that. So you might just kind of fill it until, like, the arms feel like they're a good... Somewhat floppy. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think I would. I'm not going to stuff this bear as much on the arms as I did that one. Right. Because um, I wanted it to be just a little softer. Yeah, because his arms are pretty, pretty stiff. <laughs> They're very full. It's very zombie-ish. Yeah. He's yeah. a cute guy, though. I like him. That's a fluffy bear. Luna wants to play with him. Yeah, Rose kept trying to and slobbering on her suede. Perfect. Yeah, as Rose does. Is there a stick in that bag of Bill? Uh, no, not this one. There should be one in this one. So I'm at that point where once I get this first corner through, it'll go faster, but getting that first corner through is tricky. Uh, Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, it was fun yesterday seeing this teddy bear at all its various stages where it's just kind of half assembled and yeah. slumped over. And Time. Okay, while these legs are super cute, they're not as cute as the little blue ones when yeah. they made with the little fuzzy feet. Actually, I'm, that's pretty cute. But these are pretty cute. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that little foot. Or, shoot, just make some booties for your kids. Yeah. Did you say booties? Yeah, some booties. She did. That's what they're called. Little kid booties. Baby. I but, kept threatening to put the uh, arms when we had them. Sewn up like this, I kept threatening to put them on my dog, like little high top boots. Yeah. So I feel like those would fit over Walter's legs quite well. I think that would be adorable. Alrighty. The Pomeranian with mud up its legs. Looks like it's wearing boots. Perfect. We got some legs. Got some arms. Weird. Boy, we're almost there with the tail. Oh. Yeah, if you've got some good clippers there, Eugene, for uh, like coarser situations, you'll be happy that you're using those. Uh, it's it's tough to tough to cut with like a beard trimmer or something. I think would have a hard time with this. Yeah. 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 The the little goat skin that we used on him, he was pretty easy because his hair is nice and straight. And Very fine. pretty fine. Yeah. yeah, so he trimmed up pretty well. But this man, this shearling, sometimes you had to take it off. It, it took me probably a couple passes. like two, two and a half hours to trim all these parts. Yeah. Yeah. And she was everyone's favorite. It was so loud. And I tried to go somewhere else, but we apparently took all of our stuff out of maintenance and moved it somewhere else. And so there wasn't anywhere else for me to go. So. Yeah, it all, got, it all went to Grant. Yeah, yeah, so I just but like the table and everything. Yeah, like because yeah. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I can just go back there and use the table, well, but it was connected to the saw. Right. Yeah. Is, is, <laughs> yeah. It was kind of connected to the saw, so they could run full sheets through. It. Yeah. So you know, it's it happens. Yeah. Rearranging. They left the floor much like electrician did. Yes. <laughs> it's a mess, but it's all in a pile. No. I no. No, they don't know. How Electricians to do. don't know how to use a broom. That's, yeah. that's what Tony said. <laughs> They just twist wires. Which apparently is not very hard, so just do it. <laughs> and don't die in the process. That's the hard part. Don't turn the power on. Well, yeah, don't turn the power on. on. That's your fault. <laughs> no, I found I found a really good TikTok, and since, like, it's just this guy that just has a really dry sense of humor um, in construction, and I, I had to send it to Tony, because I was like, this is you! It this wasn't dry at all. <laughs> <laughs> it, he, was, he was a little salty about electricians. <laughs> no offense to anybody in the audience who might be an electrician. It was just funny because it's the same stuff that on the job side they get grief for all the time. Yeah. It's just the little poking fun that you get. Much like poking in your stuffing. Just like poking in your stuffing. Where's his tail? Everybody gets like kissed. Oh, look at it. That's a pretty cute tail. Oh, so you could have made it the other way, and it would have been a little non-fluffy tail, which would have been fun. I have a fuzzy tail, though. <laughs> Gotta be fuzzy. Larry says, 43 years of being an electrician. <laughs> Still can't yeah. use it. Larry, broom. how's that broom going? <laughs> Do you is, is the broom your friend? Are you a good electrician? You clean up after yourself? 
That's what he takes to work. He just rides in on it. Electricity is magic. Sorcery. It is magic. Yeah. We should be nice to electricians since we've already lost power once. In this true. <laughs> <laughs> They're listening. I mean, does that just mean that they didn't do their job? Like, <laughs> no, somebody else destroyed their work. <laughs> Broke it. So we're in a high wind, high ice region of the U.S. with above ground power, almost exclusively. <laughs> not on my street, mine's underground. Well, you're in one of the fancy new neighborhoods. I no, wish we had You're not in one of the broke old neighborhoods. <laughs> I hate... My house is built in 73. Yeah, my house That's is new for good. Springfield. <laughs> All the houses I've lived in previously were somewhere in 1920. That's because you lived in my old neighborhood. Yep. Right. Which will never Which get underground utilities. Alrighty. So we've got leg stuffed, arm stuffed. So now we're going tail to stuffed. start assembling the back. The old tail. Yeah. yeah. So with the back, let me just double check. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we start with the back, but uh, yes. We sure do. So the back has this pleat. There we go. The back has this pleat in it down here. This, like I was talking about, this creates the butt of the the bear, and that's where he sits. So this this will pull it under, and then that is the back. So here's our little parts. So we are going to pleat this uh, way. Yes. Because then it's going to fold out that way, and it's going to create a little butt. It gives it that corner. Yeah. So I'm just going to hold that and draw a line, uh, and then sew on that line. Oh, no. That's not a that's not a silver marking pen. That is. Thanks, man. So there's my pleat. So this is where I want to sew to. We are just going to. That's how I did it yesterday. Just kind of eyeballed it. And the same thing on this one. Do we want to shave this at all right now? I don't think so. Yeah, I think it'll be, I think we'll sew up just fine. Uh, yeah, this is marked really clearly on the pattern, which I appreciated because I'm never sure how to make corners in leather work on panels yeah. like this. Yeah, so uh, we're. I mean, adding clearly that. marked really helps. And you don't want to pre cut it. Because then you can't sew it. Yep. So you can cut it after you sew it. And yeah, the tail is basically the same concept, but we went ahead and just cut it into this little flower shape and sew it up afterwards. Get your, get your little tail. This one came out very nice and round. Good job, Andy. Squishy. Hmm, let's see. What can I be taping up for you? Chest pieces go together. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I want to take. The long edge. Do a little more shaving. Yeah, I think the end result of this pattern is pretty fantastic. Great big teddy bear. Everybody was really impressed at the size of the bear that we were making yesterday, which was pretty funny. We saw the pattern, we were like, yeah, it's going to be pretty big. And then as we made like the first couple parts, we were just like, oh no. <laughs> but also there's a lot of people that didn't realize uh, you get three different sizes yep. in. So there's our first pleat. Right there. Lovely. Uh, didn't realize how large the pattern actually was, so mm -hmm. good little show and tell. Whoa, hey, you're not. Uh, it's not locked. Let me get it. That should be enough. Is that the right edge? Just double checking, looking at the diagram here.
Okay. See, I was about to sew up the wrong edge. Don't do that. That's why you double check. Uh, the pattern pieces themselves have all the uh, areas you need to be taping and sewing marked. I just had looked away from those for a moment and forgot. Oh, I'm glad we have quiet shears. I was like, Tony's really going to hate this if I walk into this room with the shears that I have. But I really didn't want to have to buy new ones just so we could make a teddy bear because I just, I was like, we're never... These don't come up often. Yeah, like, how, like we really don't shave shearling all that much in the shop in order to just, I mean, it was like 30 bucks, but I was like, ah, if we don't have to, we don't have to. Hey, Tori. But then I broke them, so then we had to. <laughs> but then Jim fixed them the next day because he's magical. Because Jim... Alrighty. Uh deserves, thank you. That happened yesterday a lot too. I thought like my dog was coming like poking around my side, but it was Liz stealing things out of my tool pouch. Just me stealing scissors. That's why all my stuff has, you know, a tail hanging off it, so people can grab it if you need to be while I'm walking. But he by. knows who has it. <laughs> True. I know which ones are mine. Alrighty. Okay, so we've got our two pleats in. What? Hi. I was reading the message. It's not really a plea. It's called a dart. Well, yeah. Thanks, guys. Sorry, we'll scrap it. Third hour. We'll go home. No, I mean, it says a dart. Larry doesn't sleep the floor because he says it's the labor job. That's what he was talking about. That is the thing. If you're on a union site, different people have different jobs. Don't step on toes. Alrighty, so now we are going to sew, this is the back part, so I'm going to sew that up, and once again, I'm going to be very diligent about aligning up my neck. This is the part that I am most worried about, to make sure this is even, and then this will fall where it is, and we'll go from there. Ooh, so. And you can sew in the tail. Oh, right, and well I can sew in the, the tail. Yeah, because I had to rip out my seam yesterday. We might do it like the ears, where you kind of pre-sew it, and then, or the legs, rather. Man, I am struggling with pacing tape today. <laughs> yeah, uh, your machine's still gonna have a tough time getting those seams to stay it's gonna straight. Move. Yeah, it's gonna fight you pretty bad. Um, doable, but as much as we are. Fighting these pieces, it'll be more if it wasn't shaved. All right, I'm gonna shave the little nub. Go in there, go down there. Yeah, this is a tight hole. Yeah, I kind of overshot, but I got turned around. You turned in. Push that closed. Basically, yeah, so we want. Here's my butt dart. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Let it go. Oh, Andrea. So that, and then this is going to sit here. And then you want to sew it. This will be sewn face to face like that. Mm -hmm. So this I'm going to put here and just kind of pre sew that in. Oh, this is going to be terrible. And yeah, again, on this front panel, I am aligning my neck first, and the rest will just line up where it lines up. See, look, look at that. That'll be the back until we should sit right there. Right on his tuckus. Should be good. Okay. Got the back, or the front glued up, taped up as well. These trimmed already cool beans. Louder. Okay. Yeah, we both found out pretty quickly that blue suede was gonna just be how the rest of our day went. Felt bad every time I'd go to pet my dog because he's mostly white. I didn't want to dye my poor pup blue. I don't know. I might still need to remove some stuff in the tail. Yeah. 
Sorry. Overzealous tail stuffing. All right, let me see if this works. Yeah, we did find out a lot of little tricks along the way yesterday, though. Um, Here, you which, take this down, and I will sew this front up. Okay. Which, so far, we've shared them all that we've come across, but um, it was it was a fun day figuring out all those little details that, as it turns out, we had not considered before starting. So that's what we do these videos for. So if anyone's got this pattern, has been intimidated by it, it's not that bad. Get you a buddy in a full day. Hmm. Hmm. Sheila, what stitch play are you talking about? What'd she say? She says, I like that stitch plate. I need to find one of those. Stitch plate? This is just what comes on the class 26. That's why I'm with you. <laughs> you need to get you cleaning up after stuff like that because they just did something I would have spent ten times longer trying to do. Yeah, and they cost a lot per hour. <laughs> Fair. That is true. So she's like, I got no problem cleaning up That is a good point. Chest is sewn up, and I was able to stretch that top panel so that they both lined up. Nice. So no issues there. Neck lines up good. Spot it was just a little bit off, but we can just boop. Done. Now a little trim like that, you're not going to hurt anything. But we um, cut a good like half inch along a full edge. Sheila, I think the Cowboy forty five hundred is actually like a class four. Yes. Ooh. The big. So that's why the plates are different. Um. The Cobra plate should fit on, I mean, as long as all the screws and stuff are the same. I, like, most of the outside thingies, like, fittings of the, the Cobra, the Artisan, and the Cowboys are all, like, the same kind of outer box. Yeah. However, each manufacturer does go to a lot of links to kind of curate the inside parts of their machine and they might change out this or that or whatever, like little accessories. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can, you're welcome to call Cobra. They should know what is interchangeable between the machines because I'm sure they get a lot of those questions um, if they're not accessories. But I do, like this doesn't have any alternative um, needle plate options for the 26. I'm pretty sure this is just all that, that you can get for it. But the threes and the fours, there's a lot of different plate options depending on what you're making. You've got a holster plate. You've got, uh, that's really the only one I come up with. But I think there's like two or <laughs> three. Got a lot, like there are, there are several. <laughs> there's a holster, holster plate, plate. etc. And others. I was like, there's like blanket feet and there's all sorts of I things. believe in you. Thanks, that, man. That tail's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be terrible. Yeah. I definitely overstuffed. Well, that like a little Not bit, but it wasn't enough. Hi, Williams. What are you doing? Begging for affection. She oh, you guys is wish me luck.
Yeah, you know, yesterday Liz got to hang out with us all over in the shop and realized that up where me and Andy work, there's a pretty high concentration of nerds mm -hmm. and nerd conversations. So they have a slotted plate and a holster plate. Okay, the slotted one. Which looks by the picture that they have is flat. The slotted plate is used when sewing strap goods when the top stitching is a must. I think the holster plate actually raises your project up a little bit. It's like a raised plate so that you can sew um, things with contours easier. Oh. Ah. Like get around that belt. Yeah, it does have a raised, nice. yeah, a raised edge on it. That's pretty cool. That makes sense. I talk to a lot more people that do holsters than do webbing strap goods on the, yeah. on the heavy duty stitcher. So that's the one that comes to mind. Yeah, Sheila says her sister has the cover and they're pretty much identical. Yeah. They're just painted differently. I mean, the cast of, the cast of those have been the same for a minute. <laughs> Stirrup plate. Mm. That's the other one. I love when you can get in all the weird machinery accessories. It's fun. With any sort of machine. What is a holster plate? It's like a dinner plate, except you put your holster on. Exactly. That's the educational content you're here for, folks. We got you covered. Oh, uh, God. Let's see if I can show you a picture of it. No. Oh, I'll perforate that. Mm, sorry, Liz. Do we carry them? I know yep. we can order them. Uh, sometimes we have them in stock. Sometimes they come with a premium package, so we typically will have the holster plate. Mm -hmm. I believe it. I think it comes with all three of the plates. The premium package does. I don't remember taking any pictures of that. It doesn't mean that I have. It's probably been a minute. It comes in the package, but we don't have a picture of it. Uh, Leather Machines website should. Yes, I know. Okay. <laughs> I was looking for one on our, on our website. Yeah. Uh, so then the, uh, the ears are another one that you've got to remember are a little odd. Because instead of sewing them fur to fur like everything else, we want them to have the... Uh, the fuzzy inside and the, you know, camo outside. So we will, or vice versa. You've got to face them both the same direction. So that way when it's turned right... They're opposite. They're opposite. So, since I, so hopefully I can click record on this. And I can just record this little section of things. What do you think, Liz? What are you talking about? For what? So, sewing... Sewing machines. The, the flat plate that's there on the 26, that's the normal that comes with it. And then we're talking about the different one between the class 3 and class 4. is a little more rounded. And we we'll talked about the holster plate that you can get, and then also a slotted plate that you can get uh, from us through Leather Machine Company. We had a couple questions about what does that plate even look like? The holster plate, that is. It's a little curved plate. Hopefully it, I can add it to my screen here in just a second. So if they need to get parts for the machine, where can they get parts? Or how do they need to look for parts for it? Um, we do have some parts listed on our website for the three and the mm -hmm. four, but really, if you call in and let us know, a lot of a lot of the stuff that we have is is not like a readily available item number, but we typically have like some back end numbers because we do have parts on hand for the machines. Um, we do a decent amount of either fixing our own machines or people will bring in their machines and we will work on them. Um, and so we do tend to have parts. 
Typically, like if it is a new part that we've got, uh, it will be the MSRP that is on Leather Machine's website. So if you go to leathermachine.com, because you can't find the part on our website, even if we do stock it, that will be the price that you pay um, for that part. Every once in a while, we'll have a used one. Like I sent somebody, um, they needed a new bobbin case for their class. I think they have a Cobra, uh, King Cobra, and he needed a new bobbin case. We had a we had a used one. I was able to make him a deal on a used one that we had taken off that was still in perfectly fine condition. We refurbished it. It was it was fine. Um, so just give us a call. You can talk to the office staff to kind of get you going to see what we might have in stock. They might get you to uh, Jim or one of the shop guys mm-hmm. um, for Usually some Jim. of those weird miscellaneous parts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the King Cobra is the same thing as a three and four, just longer throat. Correct. All right. So here's a picture of the holster plate that we were talking about. Okay. So this we're going to need to hand sew. Okay. So that's when what we get there, like, because like. I can't. Can see it there? We just need to good. pinch it a little yeah. bit, and then sew that. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, you're good. But it does look good. Yeah. And it's it should there. sit right there. Perfect. Yeah. Just above the ground. Barely caught. Barely. Already. Barely caught. All right, guys. It is noon. Let's see here. Where are yeah. we at? I uh, guess we've got I just about everything taped up except for the face. Yeah. So we've got. Yeah. I think what we'll do is I'm going to sew another couple parts. We're just assembling all of the straight seams. Um, and then when we come back on Friday, we will do the assembly. We will get to the neck portion, but we may not get that all completely yeah. sewn on because that's just, I mean, you have to hand sew it. And so it's going to take a while, but we'll get all that set up so you guys can see that. And then we'll have to do that off screen. But I believe that we can get the rest of it, all of the parts assembled and then ready to start hand sewing the neck on and kind of show you guys how we'll go about doing that once everything lines up. Um, and we'll make sure we get some like photos and things of the finished bear so, so you guys can see the. Yeah, he'll, he'll be on. The whole deal. Probably not next week because I'm going to be gone next week, but. Yeah. All righty. interrupt, Tony. That is, that is bear part A, and we will be coming back with bear part B on Friday for the final assembly to see all of these lovely pieces. That's our little bear tail, and we are going to have to re, we're going to have to hand sew them back on because I just could not catch that tail in my seam when I sewed in the foot. It was, it wasn't Four layers of shearling, it was tricky. Yeah. Yeah. So we will re-catch that tail. We'll hand sew and tack him on so that he's he's nice and bound in there but otherwise that is he's right above our little yes. butt dart so he should sit nicely we've got our legs done we've got our arms done we're going to shorten the arms by about an inch yeah. and install them like that and they're going to end up you know about the same length as the leg yeah which will make it <clears throat> and then tingly. we will have all of the head to put together yep. um so on the nose and the eyes and We'll go from there. Yeah. So Friday might be a little bit of a longer video, but we will make it through. We'll see so. what we can do. Alrighty, folks. Have is there anything else? After party on Twitch. Uh, Larry wants a video on dialing down the sewing machine, the servo motor. So we'll do a short on that. Mm-hmm. Check okay. out our shorts on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe on everything. That's how we get out to more people, and maybe we can get to fifty thousand subscribers, and we can make a leather YouTube thing. That'd be fun, right? The YouTube. <laughs> you know, I was doing. We had your little short videos that you did, Liz, mm-hmm. and they were a hundred percent likes. I figured out that people really just don't like my voice because I have three thumbs down on the one that you I have did. the three thumbs down. I took your oh, you yeah, have the three we normally get. In yeah, all of my video. What was mine anyway? What did I do? Oh, wow, the leather. Clearly, your heart leather, wasn't in it. The leather strap. The leather the strap, strap cutter. cutter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but. Yeah, so that's something that we're new working on. Justin's been having a lot of fun doing those little shorts, so hopefully everybody likes them, and they will just be, you know, a short format for those of you that don't want to sit here and listen to us talk for an hour or two. So um, you might see us do, like, that little part there where we stop and re- I make sure that I record something. I'll try to make it seamless, but sometimes mm. it doesn't happen. i got to go back and catch it because we get talking on something. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So we can catch it and get maybe, like, a two-, three-minute thing to get some information and just try to keep the... The information we give out in short style. Yeah. yeah. You can always clip it out later and stuff. Too, yeah, there's so. stuff that gets lost in here. Yeah. We talk about all the great stuff. You guys have awesome questions, and like we really hunting, appreciate... Was what the chat talk was today. There's a lot of deer hunting, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm just checking real quick. I don't see really any questions. Thanks. Just thanks and everything. Have a great day. Be yep. safe out there. Keep Bye, guys. See you, everybody. See you later.
I find them. <laughs> Go off line, but.